a team that I have a lot to talk about on, which is the Orlando Magic. Um, but the Magic have beat some really good teams as of late. Mm-hmm. They've got wins over the Bucks, wins over the Pacers, wins over Denver, and Boston. And it was a big win over Boston, 113 to 96. And what is really working for this Magic team is defense. This team is defending at a high level. They are third in defensive rating, only behind Minnesota and Houston, who we've both talked about multiple times now on the pod um, for how good their defense is, their defense has been this year. Um, and they're only 0. 0.2 in defensive rating behind. So they're right there neck and neck with both of those teams. Mm-hmm. Um, they're averaging the second most steals per game as a team. They're also giving up the second least second chance points per game. So it's a credit to guys like Mo Wagner, Wendell Carter, even guys like John Isaac who are crashing the glass for them. Um, They're fifth in total net rating this season. And again, a lot of that is due to their defensive rating being so high. Um, And a couple of guys that I have to shout out specifically on this Magic team who have been making big contributions. First one, Jonathan Isaac. He is third in individual defensive rating, I think, for guys who have played average over like 10 or 15 minutes a night. Um, He's averaging 2.2 stocks per game. So that's a combination of steals and blocks in just 13 minutes a night. Uh, So if you translate that to per 36, that would be 2.4 steals and 3.3 blocks. So he is getting it done on the defensive side of the ball. Um, He's a guy who can crash the glass in their game against the Celtics. Um, He was big time for them on the offensive glass in that game, had a lot of second chance opportunities um, that he either finished or brought down um, and got extra possessions for the Magic. Um, And then Jalen Suggs, this is his most efficient season um, he's had in the NBA this year. I've seen people start to throw out the comparisons to a guy like Marcus Smart. I've seen it everywhere. I'm not going to lie, bro. I see it. He is getting scrappy. He's diving for loose balls. He'll get switched onto a big, and he's battling. It's There's no easy buckets if Jalen Suggs is guarding you. Um, he's sitting at 12 points a night, four rebounds, and two seals in just 27, point, uh, 27 minutes a night. Um, and he is actually, um, I think this just came out today, the estimated plus minus. Um, Dunks and Threes puts this out, uh, so shout out to them. He's actually leading the league in estimated defensive plus minus per 100 possessions. So that is ahead of guys like Chet Holmgren, Scotty Barnes, Evan Mobley, uh, Dylan Brooks, Mitchell Robinson, John Isaac, his teammate, Jaden McDaniels, Brooke Lopez. So a lot of elite defenders on this list. He is above all of them in defensive estimated plus minus. Um, And I say all of that about their defense because you have that on top of the strides that Paolo has made this year, that Franz have made this year, their comfortability, comfortability playing so versatile, being on the ball, off the ball, despite sometimes the lack of spacing that this team has, um, they're able to still get to their spots and score and play make for others um, and just be extremely versatile wing uh, players, one of the most versatile wing duos. I think it's fair to say that now. Um, for the two of them here in Orlando um, and guys like Cole Anthony and got to also shout out Franz's brother, Mo, who I think he's probably the best backup center in the league right now. Like he is putting up some yeah. legitimate stat lines, bro. Um, Cause I, he's sitting at, yeah, almost 13 points a night, um, four rebounds, you know, half a steal, half a block, but he's had some games this year. Um, like if you pull up his pull up his game by game log, 27 against Boston. Um, he had a 16 point game against Indiana. I think that was an in season tournament, or no, it wasn't an in season tournament game, but 16 against Indiana. Um, and their win. He's had a couple of different 19 point games, so he can come in on any given night and give you 20, 20 plus. Um, and again, cl- crash the glass, like I mentioned. So this Magic team, the defense is what's elevating them on top of their continued growth from their stars in Paolo and Franz. So shout out to them. It looks like they're going to wrap up group C barring the Celtics absolutely blowing out the bulls. Um, and even if that's the case, the magic have a good shot to potentially be um, one of the wild card teams if that does happen. So, so shout out to Orlando. What have you seen um, from this team this year that 
that you think has really contributed mm-hmm. to this jump for them? Because now they're sitting at um, – let me pull up the standings real quick, but I they're think – second. They're like 12 and 5. Yeah, they are. They're 12 and 5, second in the East. Making that push, bro. Yeah, they're a legit team. That's the thing. Like, they're actually, you know, it's not like fluky wins. They're a legit good team. The main thing, like you said, the biggest thing, and, like, you pretty much said everything, is the defense. Um, But the thing that sticks out to me is, like, their size, balls, and their length, like, and their versatility on the defensive yeah. end. It's like, all right, you got you got Paolo, you got Franz, you got Jalen Scuzz, who's not tall, but, like, he's still, you know, a good defender. But then you have Jonathan Isaac, a guy who's, like, I don't even know how tall he is. What is he, like, six? Six eight nine, I think. like six, six eight, yeah, like six, six eight, nine, six yeah. nine, like just a lot of a lot of length, a lot of versatility defensively. So the fact that they have that, like you said, one of the best defenses in the league, and still have um the talent that they have on offense. Um, like I said, a guy like Paolo, I believe he's shooting what I just had it pulled up. He was shooting forty three percent from three right now, which is like nuts. <laughs> like yeah. if he actually can like keep that up, that's <clears throat> insane. Mm-hmm. Um, you got him, you got Franz, like you said, one of the most versatile like duos right now. And then you got guys guys contributing. Like I said, Jalen Slug offensively, I believe he's having a really good like um shooting season as well, along mm-hmm. with the defense that he brings. Cole Anthony is also contributing. Like they got a lot of guys who contribute on the offensive end. So you pl- add in the, the great defense, plus you know, everyone contributing on the offensive end and the strides that they got that their best players are making. That's a really good team. You know what I mean? Like, that's a great team. And like at the end of the day, defense is going to win you games, bro. Like, to me, if you're a really good defensive team, like, you got a shot to beat anybody because, you know, especially when you have length and you can put multiple different bodies on other teams' best players, like, that goes a long way to a long way to me. And then, bro, if – let's say Paulo, because right now Paulo's in year two. If he takes another step, which he probably will because, mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, it's year two. If Franz takes another step, like, bro, they're – this team is legit right now, so – I can only imagine, like, next year, the year after. Like, that's a scary, like, core. You know what right. I mean? Because they're all they're all young. So, yeah, mm-hmm. they're, they're a 100% a legit team. Like you said, they've beaten a lot of good teams, too, which also, like, kind of solidifies them a little bit. Like, they're not mm-hmm. beating up on bums. They're beating up on legit teams. So, I'm excited, man. Like, coming into the season, the Magic was one of the teams I definitely wanted to watch more of. And they have not disappointed. Like they're a really good team. They're fun to watch, and I'm I'm really excited for what's going to look like moving forward. And on top of that, like you said, them being so young, you still got Anthony Black, Jet Howard. They're going to continue to develop and get mm-hmm. better, um, and can eventually join kind of that core rotation later this year, next year, whatever the case may be. However, that time frame works out. Mm-hmm. Um, so this Magic team is sitting in a good spot. I'm going to say something, and I may be gassing a little bit, but in some ways, they kind of feel like baby Celtics, which is weird to say because the Celtics are young, too, to an extent. But, like, two big wing players who are the the faces of the franchise. Um, You've got some scrappy guard play. You've got a center that can stretch the floor. Um, or at least kind of attempt to stretch the floor. How many threes is Wendell putting up a night? He had three threes a night. Like, you know, he gets his threes up. Um, and you've got just guys who buy into their role. Like, if I wasn't talking about the Magic and this was just whatever blank descriptors, like, that could sound like the Celtics to you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, in a way, I, I feel like they've kind of stolen their blueprint, which, fair, good for them, because you have the, the personnel to do it. It's a great blueprint. <laughs> All right. If you're going to steal a blueprint, at least steal one that gets you to the NBA finals. Facts. Um, and potentially could end up winning them a championship. So definitely, definitely shout out to the Magic, a team that I wanted to highlight for sure, because they've been hooping, bro. They have been yeah. hooping. I like, yeah. I, just, I love the position at the ring because they got, we're already this good now. Like, I can only imagine, like, <laughs> imagine if Paolo takes another step. Jesus Christ. This team is going to be scary. <laughs> It's going to be crazy when he gets in that mode. Like I, the comps have always been like this weird mix of like Carmelo in some ways, but then also like a guy like Julius Randall. Cause he's a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. It's like, I feel like that's a very accurate. I mean, comps are only going to be so accurate, I guess I should say, but like that's the closest one that makes right, sense when, to me. When you try to conceptualize, like if you really molded those two players into one player, like Paolo seems like a fair like he has the ability to be a little bit shifty, he can handle the ball, he can ISO you up, he can get you in the post, but he can also bully ball you. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I, I like it. I like it. And like you said, he's only going to get better. So, it's magic team. They, like, they might have arrived now, but they're going to get better next year, year after that. Uh, this East, man, this East has so many good young teams in it that we're talking about the West being a juggernaut. We gotta meet your point where it's just like, bro, everybody in the NBA is hooping. <laughs> Everybody's just bro. We talk listen, we talked about it before the season, bro. No one besides like the Wizards and the Spurs, like no one was like coming into the season trying to lose. Like right. everyone was playing for something. So these young teams that are like breaking out, like, yeah, it's a great surprise, but it's like that what 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 are we trying to lose for? We got our young core. Let's go win. Let's go try to compete. So it's exciting. 